Hey, what's going on guys? Joel again here, just hanging out downtown, and I Instagrammed this picture the other day, but I wanted to show you on this video too, in case you didn't see it or don't follow me on Instagram. <laughs> but there's some beautiful graffiti right here. Beautiful, let me focus the camera, because I'm using the front-facing camera. Up here it says, be you. And then down here it says, fart. So, beautiful, beautiful art around here. Beautiful town. And actually, speaking of art, there's a big art festival going on Saturday and Sunday, a bunch of people from all around the area and all parts of the country actually come here to showcase their art in the streets. It's intense, literally. Uh, they put up tents because sometimes it rains here. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but it, it's really cool and I like walking around and I'm excited for that. So that is happening tomorrow and it's really nice to hang out downtown the day before it happens because they like block off all of the parking. There's like no one up here no cars around here. There's gonna be a, a ton of cars around here tomorrow. So I can't skate around here for the next two days So figured I'd do that today and that is what I am up to but I want to talk to you guys about something today fear and just to kind of give you guys the the, the, the like seedling of the idea that maybe we want to talk about this. I've been watching this HBO miniseries lately. I've never watched it, but I've always wanted to watch it. It's called Band of Brothers. Some of you may have heard of it. It, it was it came out in like 2001 and there's some fairly famous people in it. It was produced by Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg. Wow, I'm like almost out. My cherry vanilla Moe's Coke. But, um, all right, now there's a guy across the street from me, so, or there's a guy that just came out of that door, so I'm a little nervous now, and I'm just gonna stop doing this. Okay, he's gone. So, just to go over what I was thinking about, um, Band of Brothers, they were talking about how there were people, um, like, like when they were starting to get ready to fight in World War II, the Americans were like, uh, they were going around to towns and they were picking volunteers to fight, like people were volunteering to fight, or then the draft happened. and. It, 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 it was seen as very honorable to volunteer like most people wanted to volunteer there was actually a story at the start of the series how uh, about how there were people who I, I believe the term is Q forward when uh, you, you're you're deemed physically unfit to fight there were some people in this guy's town that were deemed Q forward so they weren't able to go fight in the war and actually killed themselves all three of them because they weren't able to go fight in the war and probably die anyway and but in a more honorable way so that is just an absolutely crazy mindset and I can't you can't even put yourself in that type of time period you know the first time America was attacked and there was no widespread internet or media where you could see how really cruel and dangerous and uh, just morbid war is but I, I, that, that is I, they still had fear because they knew what was happening they knew what would probably happen to them they they the series uh, I know I've, I've seen Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg say they wanted to keep it as realistic as possible and they said in the series or they the characters mention how they are sure they are going to die and I am someone who is absolutely fearful and I could never put myself in that mindset I know my grandfather fought in well both of my grandparents fought in World War two but my one, my one of my grandparents in particular he was uh, in his early 20s and one one of the grandparents was I think he was like 19 at the time and that was near the end of the war so I don't know if he didn't, I don't know if he saw much action but my one grandfather he was actually injured in the war and he got a purple heart he was fighting in Anzio Italy and I want to visit there sometime in my lifetime just so I can see what that area is and what it was like for him at my age to experience something like that some immense fear and uh, I, I have a lot of fears I do not think I could ever fight in a war actually I'm sure I could never fight in a war I have no interest in that I know it's very honorable and I believe in patriotism and all that even though I don't really believe in war I think it's senseless but I just I, I am so fearful I'm kind of afraid of roller coasters to be honest, that's one of my fears. I, well, not, I feel weird saying I'm afraid though because I, I don't like have nightmares where I wake up in the middle of the night because I was like, in my dreams, I was riding down something really fast. Ah, I don't have that fear and I'm not afraid of, it, it seems like some fears, it's weird how fears really don't have to be related because I'm afraid of roller coasters. I don't like going on roller coasters, but I have no problem going on airplanes. And an airplane is faster, higher, all this, I mean, when you're inside of it, it's pretty smooth as in terms of how a ride is. So I guess it's just 
different strokes for different folks and I don't like anything with needles like in movies where they put um, needles in that vein, heroin, or getting my blood drawn. I don't really like that. I can get shots. I just don't like, I've had to get my blood drawn a lot of times in my lifetime and I really, I, I don't like it. It irks me and it feels uncomfortable, probably because my arms are so skinny and my veins protrude out of my arm. It leaves a huge bruise every time I have to get anything needle related inside of me. So I sound kind of weird, but you guys get where I'm going with that. Don't really like needles, roller coasters, not my thing. What are some other fears of mine? I don't really like, um, this is kind of weird. I don't really like stomach sickness stuff. Uh, not that I can like watch someone throw up. It doesn't really bother me, but I have personally not thrown up since 1995, December 25th, 1995. So I don't know what that would even feel like nowadays. It's kind of a weird thing to think about or to say in a video. I mean, I, I feel like most people are like that, that you don't throw up very often in your lifetime, but I, I can't even like, I can't remember what that feeling is like to where you feel really sick. Cause I actually get stomach aches all the time. I just never throw up. So, I don't know, that's kind of odd. I just want to tell you guys my fears, open up to you guys. I obviously have a fear of social interaction because this guy came up and longboarded it all the way down the parking ramp and all I did to him was, he was standing right here and I was like, what's up? No, I'm, I'm just, I don't really have a fear of social interaction because I talk to a camera and a lot of people watch so that's kind of like social interaction and I have good friends that I actually talk to in real life. So, not a big deal for me but it's just kind of an awkward world, this social media world where I talk to my phone easier than I talk to a human standing right there who just longboarded down this ramp. So that was kind of a deviation from the topic of fears, but why don't you guys tell me what your fears are in the comments so I can get to know you better. If I think of any more, I'll let, them, I'll let you know in the comments and I'm gonna go longboard all the way down to my car. So have a great day guys, talk to you later.